our next topic is azure data migration options so what is this data migration now coming into picture so far we have learned about all different storage options like we have seen azure blob and in the last exercise we have created one now the question is how can i transfer my data which is there in my on premise data center and i would like to start with azure i have my data locally available how do i move to it to cloud correct so this is what we call it as migration the word migration means transferring your data from locally available data to the azure cloud azure provides you two different migration options if i ask you a question how many different migration options are available with azure the answer is azure migrate and azure data box now let's understand each of them in detail so what is azure migrate so the word migrate means transfer azure migrate helps you to migrate from on premises data centers to cloud azure migrate is a hub or it's a portal to start run and track your data migration to azure so this is a single point portal where you can start run and track your data migration to cloud from on premise to cloud so what is azure migrate azure migrate is a portal through which i can start run and track my migration my data migration to azure cloud or on premise data centers to cloud so this is the option provided by azure azure migrate is a tool okay or a hub now there are two migration tools so it is a portal so there are two migration tools inside that important ones which is azure migrate discovery and assessment that means before i move it to move my data from data centers to the cloud i need to assess what data what application what databases how much data i should move it to cloud correct how much i i don't have to because everything i'm moving the amount of storage amount of resources that i would be using right how much i can reduce it how much i should keep i sh how much i don't have to keep so all this assessment you will do discovery and assessment using the azure migrate tool and the second one is azure migrate server migration to move your servers to the cloud there are few more integrated tools which i am going to talk about the first one you saw azure migrate discovery and assessment now what is this tool is used for it is a tool that helps users to discover and evaluate on premises resources before migrating them to azure can i migrate what data to migrate so it's all these things right um if, will there be a problem while migrating so you will be assessing discovering and assessing what data to migrate or what to migrate like uh, all these things it will help you this is a tool discovery and assessment the second tool you saw server migration now what is this this tool using this tool you can migrate vmware or vms hyper v vms physical servers and other virtualized servers and public cloud vms to azure so let's say i am using a public cloud vm and i would like to now move to azure all these things can be done using the server migration tool the third one data migration assistant this is a standalone tool to assess my sql servers sql servers are those basically which has the data right the sql servers to assess the sql server the data migration assistant tool is used so while migrating the sql servers to azure there could be certain problems while assessing um, you know you could find okay this data table or this table cannot be migrated this database cannot be migrated what is the issue how do you fix it so it provides all those kind of helps the fourth one is your database migration service so this is a assistant and this is a service the you you really do it you are doing it okay so migrate like here you have discovery and assessment which is more like you are taking assistant right and then you are really migrating it similar way this is also data migration assistant and this is migration service migrate on premises databases to azure vms 
running SQL Server or you also have something called Azure SQL databases. Its own Azure's own Azure SQL databases. So would you like to migrate to that? So based on using this tool, you can do migrate. You can migrate your on-premise databases to Azure, uh, um, you know, uh, SQL databases or SQL Server. Azure App Service Migration Assistant. Now this is app means you can pretty well understand it's talking about a website or application. Is a standalone tool to assess on-premise websites for migration to Azure App Service. Now the next thing is Azure Data Box. So what is Azure Data Box? So Azure Data Box is a physical data storage device. You remember those days when we had a pen drive? We used to, even nowadays people are using it, but mostly data is getting transferred online nowadays. Earlier we used to uh, put the pen drive, transfer the data what we want to the pen drive and then transfer it to some other device. It's more like that. It's an offline data migration option. So what happens here, this data box is, is a large storage device which has a capacity of 80 terabytes. Now you can imagine the size, 80 terabytes. The data box is transported to your data center. So you upload the data into the data box, whatever data you have offline. You upload all the data into the data box and then it is taken securely from your data center to Azure data center to upload your data to cloud. Pretty simple. It is an offline data transfer from on-premises to Azure cloud. You can order the data box device from Azure portal. So how do I get this data box? From where should I order? It is directly from Azure portal. You can order it. Now let's understand when you will be using a data box. Now data box is ideal to transfer data sizes larger than 40 terabytes. Now when you should do it? When you have no network or a limited network connectivity. These are the times which is ideal for these kind of using a data box. Nevertheless, there are other scenarios as well. Now there are three different options. One is one time migration. When you like to move a large amount of on-premise data to Azure, that time you can use it. Initial bulk transfer. What it means, large amount of data transferred using data box initially followed by incremental data transfer via network. So later on you transfer little bytes of data and all less data through the internet. The other one is periodic upload. When large amount of data is generated periodically, let's say every three months I need a data box to migrate the data to Azure. So the data will be generated on premise, but again, I want to keep it in the Azure for various recovery and uh, purpose, right? If some disaster recovery and things like that, I want to keep it in the Azure on the cloud. So these are the different three different scenarios. However, there are other things also. It's not about just transferring my data from my data center to Azure. The other way around is also possible, which is we call it as export. One is called import. You import the data to Azure cloud. This is called export. You are taking the data out from Azure. That is also possible. For example, you got it. There is a disaster recovery. You know, the situation something happened. Your on-premise data center got damaged, or something happened, and you now know your data is already there in Azure, and you like to get those data back as quickly as possible. In that time, you can use this Azure Data Box export service. Through this, large amount of Azure data. Because why it is saying Azure data? Because it is there in the cloud now. Exported using a data box, all the data from Azure Cloud will be transferred to your data box, and that data box will be sent to your on-premise location, where you can, you know, put it back to your servers. Security requirements. So sometimes when you need to export data out from Azure from the cloud due to government and security requirements, that is also you can use a data box and ask, okay, I want to stop using Azure Cloud. I want to need all. I need all my data to be transferred back to me. So they, there also you can use the data box to get all your data transferred back to you. Migrate back to on-premises or another cloud service provider. Sometimes if you like to move it to again, come back to on-premise because of security reasons or a government, uh, anything right for any requirements, you would like to come back to on-premises uh, that time also you can seek for a data box and you can ask Azure to send the data box to your location or 
or let's say you would like to move to some other cloud service provider these are the situations now here this is an important policy once the data from your import order is updated to azure let's say i'm sending the data from on premise to azure once they have uploaded to the cloud the disks the data box on the device right on the data box device, there will be many disks so on the device are wiped clean in accordance with nist 800884r1 standards so the so your data will not be misused okay for an export order it will first come to your location once you have uploaded the data you have to send the data box back to microsoft azure and then the disks are erased once the device reaches the azure data center these are the some of the key important points for this azure data migration option chapter